I talk a lot about birthing doulas on this channel, but I, I don't cover postpartum doulas as much, uh, which is silly because they provide so many benefits to moms, to families in those first few weeks postpartum. So what is a postpartum doula? This is a person that is trained to support you mentally, physically, um, not in a medical aspect, but to, to really nurture your recovery and your well-being in, you know, say the first three, four, five, six weeks after having the baby. And they absolutely can provide infant care as well, but a lot of times their main focus is on the well-being of the mother. So the mother can be well enough to care for the baby. So some of the things that a postpartum doula can do is, you know, some light housework. They can go grocery shopping for you. They can make meals. They, they can hold the baby while you take a shower. Um, maybe if they're trained in, say, like uh, pelvic floor support, they can guide you through pelvic floor exercises. If they have training in lactation support, they can guide you in, in breastfeeding. Or if, you know, they're not a trained lactation consultant, hopefully they can recommend good specialists in the area that, that can support you with that. They can maybe offer parenting tips only if you're looking for it. You don't want them to give unsolicited advice, but if you are specifically seeking guidance on when to start a bottle or pumping milk or how to hold the baby, you know, they can likely provide some really solid guidance. Uh, they can help your advocate. They can be a sounding board, you know, just somebody to talk to about your emotions. So essentially, they can often do anything that you think would be helpful with the exception of something that has to do with like your, your medical health. That is that's something that needs to be taken to your, your care provider. In regards to cost, you know, the, the cost ranges, but a lot of doulas, depending on the area where you live, charge anywhere from $25 to $65 per hour. And you do set up a schedule with them, you know, so you might have them come every morning for three weeks from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. or 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., whatever works for your family. And, you know, feel free to just give them a, a list of the things that you want them to do. You know, if you know that when they come over, you're going to be sleeping or something like that, just give them that, that list and let them do their thing. Or maybe some days, again, you really want them to just be with you the whole time, talking with you, helping with the baby. So again, you'll work with your doula to kind of figure out the, the structure of the care that, that works for, for both of you. And doulas, postpartum doulas and birth doulas, they are not required to have certification, but I found that it is really helpful if they have gone through a certification process, um, like the one provided through DONA, D-O-N-A. And this just means that they've received training on what type of support is appropriate, you know, how to talk to mothers, how to be a active listener. So I do recommend finding somebody that has received that training um, and databases like the one on the DONA website, D-O-N-A, again, um, can provide recommendations. And if you have anybody that lives near you that has used a postpartum doula that they like, you can ask them for recommendations, midwives, uh, birth doulas often know good postpartum doulas or maybe provide that, that service themselves. Um, and because it's such a um, intimate relationship, you know, the relationship between the postpartum doula and the mother, I really recommend meeting with somebody in person before hiring them and, and asking them certain questions. Um, of course, you can ask them whatever you want, but I found that some questions that are helpful are, you know, tell me about the type of support you typically provide. 
Um, in addition to your postpartum doula training, do you have any other training certifications that would be relevant to this care, such as lactation support? Um, what are the things that you are not willing to do? How much do you charge per hour? Are you available for the X amount of weeks after my baby is born? Typically, what part of the day are you available? Um, are you comfortable cooking meals? If so, you know, say your family's vegetarian. Do you know how to make vegetarian meals? So again, just keep asking questions until you feel satisfied, until you get a good sense of, of who that, that person is and if they would be a good fit for you. And I recommend starting these interviews at least in the second trimester so you already have somebody lined up once you have the baby. All right, if you have any questions about this or anything else about pregnancy, childbirth, or early motherhood, let me know in the comments.